Hi folks, we're going to take a look at page 288, number 24. So here we've got a human cannonball uh, who apparently wants to launch himself into the air and land in a particular location. And this is the uh, equation that the cannonball has determined is going to do that for him or her. Okay, so here R represents the radius. Okay, so how far, so I guess depending in which direction, but tells you how far uh, that person will reach. We've got V is the velocity of the launch, G acceleration due to gravity, not surprisingly is a factor here, and theta is the launch angle. Okay, so essentially what we have is we have cannon that's going to be set at a particular uh, angle, and then this equation will tell us how far uh, the person should land. Okay, so let's uh, put everything in. We'll see that we have a fairly simple equation to solve. So R is equal to 20. V is 15 squared over 9.8 sine of 2 theta. So we see that we have fairly easy trigonometric equation with theta being our only um, remaining variable. Okay, so let's start by uh, doing step one, which is to isolate our trig ratio. So in this case here, sine of 2 theta. So here we've got 20 times 9.8 divided by 15 squared, which is 225. Okay, so we've got sine 2 theta is equal to 0 0.871. Okay, now here, 871 doesn't correspond to a uh, special angle. So we're going to determine what 2 theta can be equal to using our inverse sine button at least the first one. So inverse sine of that answer gives us 1.057. Okay, and of course we can get our second answer using our um, related acute angle, which of course, uh, related acute identity, which here is pi minus theta. So in other words, pi minus 1.057. Okay, and we've got 2.0. 8, 4. Okay, so step three in this case here, we can now, we have to isolate theta, so theta is going to be equal to, not sure I got rid of my calculator here, so let's start by doing the second one, because I can just divide that one by two, so we've got 1.042, and the other one would be uh, 1. Oops, 1.057 divided by two, so that looks to be uh, 0 0.523. Oh, sorry, 0 0.529. Sorry about that. There we go. So now that we have our first two answers, uh, we have to see if there's any other answers uh, that might be uh, valid and see if these answers themselves are valid. So let's start by trying to figure out what our uh, domain should be. Because in the end, uh, they didn't really specify a domain. So clearly it's going to have to be an angle greater than zero to be launched in that direction. But I think we can say that the maximum it can be is pi over two. Okay, because let's say we're assuming that the target is somewhere in this direction. I mean, it could be in any direction. So let's draw it as though it's in this direction. Doesn't make sense to be launching yourself in the other direction. So here we should limit ourselves to... Um, 0 to pi over 2. Now both of these land within that range. But if I try to add now the period of my trig ratio, which in this case here, since I have a 2 theta, 2 pi over 2 is pi. If I add 3.14 to either of these, well obviously I'll be beyond the range. So here it looks like we've got two answers. Okay, So it looks as though you can reach that goal by either having a smaller angle Okay, or by having a larger angle, and I guess you're going to go further up, but your horizontal distance will actually be the same. Okay, so in this case here, because this is radians, we don't actually have to specify units that if you give an angle answer uh, without any units, it's assumed that it's in radians.